Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cosmic Odyssey Curiosities, where we explore the wonders of the universe. Today we are going to talk about one of the most fascinating and mysterious topics in science, extraterrestrial life. What is extraterrestrial life? How do we search for it? And what might it look like? Let's find out. Body, extraterrestrial life or alien life, is life that may exist or may have existed in the universe outside of Earth. No extraterrestrial life has yet been conclusively detected, but scientists have been looking for signs of it for decades. Some of the methods they use include analysing telescope and specimen data to find evidence of biological activity on other planets or moons, listening for radio signals that might indicate intelligence or technology from other civilizations, sending robotic probes to explore the solar system and beyond, searching for habitable planets around other stars that could support life, but what kind of life are we looking for? Well, that depends on what we consider to be the basic requirements for life. On Earth, all living things are based on carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and other elements and use water as their interaction medium. They also need energy sources, such as sunlight or chemical reactions, to sustain their metabolism and growth. And they have some form of genetic material, such as DNA or RNA, to store and transmit information. But could there be other forms of life that are different from what we know? Some scientists think so. They propose that life could be based on other elements, such as silicon or boron, or use other solvents, such as ammonia or methane, instead of water. They also suggest that life could have different energy sources, such as nuclear fusion or geothermal heat, or different information carriers, such as crystals or quantum states. These alternative forms of life are called exotic life, and they might exist in environments that are hostile to Earth-like life, such as extreme temperatures, pressures or radiation levels. For example, some scientists speculate that there could be exotic life in the clouds of Venus, where sulfuric acid droplets provide a liquid medium, or in the subsurface oceans of Europa, where hydrothermal vents provide energy and nutrients, or in the atmosphere of gas giants, where floating organisms could harness the winds and lightning. Of course, these are just hypothetical scenarios, and we have no direct evidence of exotic life yet. But they show us that the possibilities for extraterrestrial life are vast and diverse, and that we should keep an open mind when we look for it. Conclusion. So what might extraterrestrial life look like? Well, we don't know for sure, but we can imagine some possible scenarios based on what we know about life on Earth and the conditions on other worlds. Here are some examples of what extraterrestrial life might look like. A plant-like organism that uses photosynthesis to convert light into energy. It could have green leaves to absorb visible light, or red leaves to absorb infrared light from cooler stars. An animal-like organism that uses chemosynthesis to convert chemicals into energy. It could have tentacles to capture prey, or filter food from the water, or wings to fly in the air. A fungus-like organism that uses decomposition to break down organic matter into energy. It could have spores to disperse in the wind or water, or hyphae to form networks with other organisms. A crystal-like organism that uses piezoelectricity to generate electric currents from mechanical stress. It could have facets to reflect light or sound waves, or fractals to increase its surface area. These are just some examples of what extraterrestrial life might look like. There are many more possibilities that we can't even imagine yet, but one thing is certain. If we ever find extraterrestrial life, it will be a discovery that will change our understanding of ourselves and our place in the cosmos. Thank you for watching this episode of Cosmic Odyssey Curiosities. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts and questions about extraterrestrial life. Until next time, Stay curious.